you've just been to the pharmacy, you've picked up your Zoloft, or sertraline as I call it in the UK, and inside is this leaflet. You're faced with a list of side effects that's enough to put anyone off, but how worried should you be? How common are they? And are they going to affect you? In this video, I'll talk a little bit about my experience and hopefully reassure you around the severity of the side effects you're likely to face during your first couple of weeks of taking Zoloft. My name is Alex. This is a happy change. If you don't know already, this is a channel all about recovery from mental illness. I'm on my journey. You're on yours. Let's do it together. It'll make it easier. Anyway, side effects of Zoloft. Let's go. If you've been studious and you've read your instruction manual, you'll know that there's a list of side effects that sound pretty scary, but the majority of common side effects are actually more annoying for a couple of weeks than they are dangerous. And I thought it'd be useful to, in this video, talk about the very common and common side effects that many people that start taking Zoloft or in fact any SSRI are likely to face. So firstly, the most common side effect for anyone taking Zoloft or Sertraline or any SSRI is nausea. And it's likely that you're gonna be hit by that as soon as you start taking the pills. I think for me, it was about 15 minutes after taking the first one. I took it, I sat down and I was like, yes, I've got this in the bag. And then immediately started feeling sick and questioning what I'd done. And actually the nausea enough can be enough to put lots of people off. Lots of people will say, it's just not for me. If that's the decision you make, it's up to you. You know, make sure you speak to your doctor though and they might be able to sort something else out for you. It's likely any SSRI is gonna have that effect on you though. So you might just wanna ride it out for a couple of weeks and see where you're at. It gets less and less as the time goes on. And in fact, after a few days, it really wasn't impacting me too much. I was never actually sick, physically sick, but often felt like I wanted to be. So the very common side effects, these are the things that affect more than one in 10 of us, actually can be quite unpleasant. And I thought I'll just talk through the ones listed here. First up, we got insomnia. Unfortunately, lots of people that take Zoloft will experience some form of insomnia, really struggle to get to sleep. If you look at the comments on some of my previous videos, I know this has affected many of the people in the community. And I think some level of rationality is really worth employing here, that this experience is likely only to last one week or two weeks. It is obviously something really difficult to deal with. It wasn't something that I had to put up with. However, there's lots of guidance on there about how best to deal with it. Mindfulness, lots of exercise, all of those things can support recovery from that. Conversely, fatigue. This is what really hit me, was I started by taking my dose earlier in the day and I was absolutely wiped out by about 3 p.m. I switched to an evening dose and actually that helped because it meant I slept through that kind of fatigue stage. But a very real exhaustion hit me and it was really difficult to deal with. That evening dose switch worked wonders for me. Along with the nausea, quite often comes diarrhea and an upset stomach. So to be really aware of that. Again, for me, an evening dose helped. If I was taking it on an empty stomach or with my breakfast, it was likely I was gonna lose my breakfast after about five minutes. For some people, they will experience diarrhea no matter what time they take it. So it might be worth thinking about the timing of the dose. So you're not taking it out as you're about to rush out the door for work. Normally it's really short lived but maybe a dose where you're at home for another hour would be really useful to do. But again, when I took mine in the evening, I didn't have any experience like that. This was all morning related. A couple of things that affected me, having a dry mouth, so being hydrated was really important, although it didn't make much difference. I had about a week or so of just feeling like I was in a desert and my mouth was kind of shriveling up. And the other thing was headaches, like real kind of like killer, not quite tension headaches, but just felt, I needed paracetamol, I needed some form of painkiller to deal with. It was it was quite challenging actually. And probably they were the side effect that I struggled with the most because it was like a genuine pain rather than a passing physical symptom. Unfortunately for men, it's also quite common in that first couple of weeks to suffer some form of ejaculation failure. That should improve. Some people do say that they struggle the whole time they're on sertraline. So it's a thing to monitor. I would say there's anxieties associated with that. So I would just kind of give it a little bit of time. But if you feel super uncomfortable, talk to your GP and see what their suggestions are. So if you've listened to that, you're probably thinking, blimey, if they're the very common side effects, what are the common side effects going to be? So remember the things I've just named, they're likely to affect more than one in 10 of us. In fact, there's probably one of those that you're going to experience. And it's worth just accepting that now. 
the common side effects. These are things that affect one in 10 people that take Zoloft. So you might still experience them or you might be lucky enough to avoid these. You'd best put seat belts on your ears, Roy, because I'm going to take them for the ride of their lives. Sore throat, anorexia, increased appetite, numbness, tingling, shaking, muscle tension, abnormal taste, abdominal pain, vomiting, constipation, upset stomach, excess gas, rashes, increased sweating, muscle pain, erectile dysfunction, chest pain, joint pain. So there's a few things there to reflect on. And one of the other quite common side effects is actually, unfortunately, an increase in the symptoms associated with either your depression or your anxiety. So it's quite common, remember this is usually about one in 10, of people will experience some form of either increased depression or increased anxiety, not necessarily constant over that first couple of weeks, but just from time to time. So for me, my anxiety levels heightened from time to time, certainly had like experience of palpitations, of hot flushes, things I associated with panic attack. And again, I was at a point where I was able to kind of rationalize and go, okay, this is happening, but it's a symptom of the medication rather than a symptom of my mental illness. And I was able to rationalize things a lot easier. I'm not saying that's what everyone will be able to do, but I suppose just to bear in mind, you're possibly going to experience maybe different lows of your depression. Maybe you're going to have those moments of panic kicking in when you don't expect them. For me, I had sudden bouts of like real emotional outpourings and crying. Again, this all seems like really intense, chaotic and hell for a couple of weeks. It was rough but I knew that the other side was gonna be worth it for me, so I was able to stick with it. In this video, I just wanted to signpost those common and very common side effects because I think people can worry that everything's going wrong if they suddenly feel sick, if they feel like they've got a headache, if they feel muscles t tingling and, and joint pain, etc. And I thought it would be worth just signposting. There's so many things that can happen. So I'd really love it if you can check out these videos here. These are commonly asked questions around taking Sertraline and Zoloft. And you'll find a lot of the answers that you're looking for are contained within those videos. Lots of people have said they're really useful and I hope you think the same. As always, my name is Alex. This is The Happy Change. You're doing fabulously. Peace.